Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to calculate a GPA. <clears throat> now a GPA is what is known as a weighted average, which means you can't simply just add them all up and divide by the total. What you actually have to do is multiply each of the individual letter grade points by their individual weights and then add those up. So for example, if you made an A in English, you'll get a 4.0 for that. Then you multiply it by the total credit hours, which would be 4 because this class was only worth one credit. Now if you had the same grade in history, it's actually worth twice as much as the one you made in English because your credit hour is two credit hours, so you're going to get eight credit points for this class. Now your French class was, you made a B, so you have a three, and it's worth three credit hours, so you're going to get three times three, or nine grade points for that. Then you simply add all of these up, Okay, so you do 4 plus 8 plus 9. So you get a total of 21 grade points for this semester. And you have to add up all the total credit hours, so that's a total of 6. Now to find your GPA, you do grade point total divided by credit hour total. Okay, so you do 21 divided by 6. Or 3.5. Okay. Now if all of these had been of the same weight, if they had all had, had the same credit hours, then you actually would have had a much higher GPA, but since you made a B in the one that was worth the most credit hours, it brought it down more than it would have if they had all been the same amount. Okay. So now the grade letter, uh, the letter grade point is going to change depending on what school you go to. Most schools, you know, do four for A, three for B, but some schools have um, a 5-0 scale or something like that. Um, in this example we're going to use a slightly different um, letter grade point standard where you have an A plus which is a 4.4. So if you made a 4.44 or an A plus in English and a 4, I'm just taking this number and multiplying it by this one. So for the next one I have to do 3.7 times 2, so 7.4 and then 4, all of these are only one credit hour, so 4.00 and 4.00. <coughs> so there's a total of 8 credit hours here, and we just need to add all these up. And I'm going to do this a little quicker by noticing that I have this 4.44 twice, so I'm going to multiply that by 2. And I have this 4, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4 times, so I do 4 times 4. And then I have a 7.4 plus 7.4. Okay, so 32.28. So the GPA would be this 32.28 divided by 8. So, so 4.035, and depending on how your school um, does GPA, some do it to two decimal places, some do it to three. So if it's three, this would be your GPA. But if they did it to two decimal places, you would round this up to a four, since the digit after it is a five. So what you could actually do um, to save yourself a little bit of time is what I did here. Instead of having to um, add them all up, you could multiply them by the number of occurrences. Okay, it'll save you a little bit of time.